Friends and fellow students are remembering a 12-year-old boy tonight who collapsed on the field at his middle school and later died. This is a live look at the vigil taking place right now in his memory. This is at Rosetta Canyon Community Park in Lake Elsinore. NBC4's Tony Shin spoke with family members about what happened before he died. The tragic death of Yashua Robinson isn't only being felt by students and staff at Canyon Lake Middle School. It's also being felt by members of the tight-knit community of Canyon Hills in Lake Elsinore. I'm just so heartbroken over it. Susie Vega says years ago she worked as a campus supervisor for the Lake Elsinore Unified School District. She told us Yashua's death has deeply affected her. It's very heartbreaking, very, very heartbreaking. So my heart... My thoughts go out to the family. I also lost this 19-year-old son in a car accident, so I know the pain. That's why I'm so devastated. It's just, I, I can't believe it. According to family members, on Tuesday morning around 11 o'clock, Joshua collapsed on the field during P.E. The temperature at the time was in the low to mid-90s. His aunt spoke to us on Wednesday about the incident. And he didn't dress out for P.E. And they asked him to run before not dressing out. He was reaching out to the teacher saying he needs some water. He said he couldn't breathe. He was telling the kids. Amarna Plummer told us her 12-year-old nephew eventually passed out. First responders arrived a short time later, but sadly, Amarna says he was pronounced dead at a nearby hospital from cardiac arrest. Family members believe the sweltering heat led to his death. Why would you have a child in his clothes if he didn't dress out? Running a field. The school district released a statement saying they are deeply saddened by the child's death and their hearts are with the family, his friends, and school community. We contacted the school district today for more details, but so far we have not heard back. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department is investigating this case. A spokesperson says they are still waiting for the results of an autopsy to determine the exact cause of death. I don't know the whole story, but I do want to find out what happened, you know. As the investigation continues, the family's GoFundMe has raised more than $55,000, an example of the tremendous outpouring of support from community members. And, and we, we want to alleviate the pain as much as we can, so if there's anything we can do, just please reach out to us, and we'll definitely be there for you. Tony Shin, NBC4 News. You know, when I saw this story, it really broke my heart. So some of you probably heard about Yeshua Robinson, a 12 year old that collapsed of a cardiac arrest and died because his physical education teacher demand that he run on a day that was over 90 degrees and he punished him because he did not get dressed for PE. I would like for them to identify the teacher. I notice in the articles that I have read, nobody is identifying who this teacher is. So anyway, let's get into this one. So this is Lake Elsnore Community honors student who died after collapsing in physical education class. And this happened, ladies and gentlemen, out in California. This is so sad. So as you heard in the news report, you know, friends and family of Joshua Robinson are mourning his death. And it seemed like it was pretty quick. He collapsed during physical education class and just from what i'm understanding as soon as he arrived at the hospital they announced his death so joshua robinson collapsed on tuesday around 11 a.m during his physical education class and this was at canyon lake middle school and they said the outside temperature which is in Western Riverside County community, was in the low to mid 90s. His family members said they believe Yashua's death was heat related and have said mourners to wear white and pink 
for the 6 p.m. tribute they had for him this past Friday at Rosetta Canyon Community Park. This is just horrible. This is horrible. Like I said, I would love to know who this physical education teacher was. So you saw the woman talking um, and she was his aunt. I mean, <sighs> Amarna Plummer said her nephew wasn't dressed for physical education class and was told to run for not dressing appropriately. Plummer said Yeshua began feeling ill before he passed out on the field, according to other students. Now, you did hear what she said. He was asking for water and he was letting the teacher know he didn't feel well. It should have ended right there. It should have ended right there. I mean, was it really that serious that he didn't get dressed for physical education? So he died at the hospital. He was reaching out to the teacher saying he needed some water. He said he couldn't breathe. He was telling the kids, this is the, what Plummer, his aunt, told NBC4, Lake Elsnor. Unified School District spokesperson said the district could not give details about Yeshua's death. Oh, boy. Mm, mm, mm. So the district released a statement saying that it was saddened to confirm the death of one of our students due to a medical emergency at one of our LEUSD campuses. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department is investigating the death. The department spokesperson said the agency is still waiting for the results of the coroner's autopsy to determine the cause of death. How about releasing the name of this physical education teacher? You know, why withhold it? Who are they? You know, back when my son was in the second grade, he had a really nasty physical education teacher. And I had to go and complain about this teacher. And they removed him, but he was just placed at another school. And what had happened was my son fell and he hurt his leg. I mean, he the, the pants he had on even had a rip in it. He fell. He hurt his leg. He was trying to get this teacher's attention. It wasn't just him. It was a little um, a black girl that saw him fall. And she was also, both of them were trying to get the teacher's attention. When he finally did pay attention, instead of trying to find out what was going on, he yelled at my son and this little girl. He didn't care about what happened. So I had to address it with the school. And all they did was they just removed him and put him in another school district because I think he was retiring in a year. But he was a little nasty man. And so I had to get on them. But one thing, they did move immediately, but I felt he should have got fired. You know, anytime... You won't even pay attention to a child that got injured during physical education, then something is definitely wrong with you. But I had to deal with the situation. But, you know, luckily my son did not die like Yeshua did, you know. But still, some of these teachers, you really got to pay attention to what's going on. If anything happens to your child and the adults around do not respond appropriately, you must address it immediately. You never let that go. So y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and 
subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.